here at the Grand Sweet Peas house, daughter and son-in-law. And we are, we just turned the dining room into a craft art room. Fun. Our project, first project we're gonna do is some pour painting. And I brought some canvas along, two different sizes, got eight by 10 and 12 by 12. And then got some cheap acrylic paints here. And we're gonna make this into pour painting by using some Elmer's type glue. Obviously I bought the cheap stuff here. And add WD-40 and some water. And we're gonna mix up our different paints in the cups here. These will be used as a setup for the uh, big box where we're gonna pour paint into. And then this will be the stirs for the glue. And this is gonna be so much fun because none of us have ever done this before. We're gonna watch a little video and see how, how it's gonna all roll out. So, hope you'll join us. Hey guys, thank you all for coming along here. It's a poor painting party. And this is the setup my dear daughter put together the cardboard box with, we're gonna set the canvas right here on the cups. And then over here, we've got Grand Sweet Pea, picked out seven different colors, and we've mixed a little glue mixture, not real thick, yeah, not real thick, and we put the paint on the bottom, and then half and half, and then from there, we added a little bit of WD-40, just a little squirt. And then over here, we've got Grand Sweet Pea with eight different colors. So we're gonna see what turns out better. Same type of mixture, and they both did this themselves, so it's really fun that they were able to do this. We had the popsicle sticks ready to go. Here's the dirty ones. And then if we have enough time, I'm gonna work on maybe doing four colors, and we're gonna see what's better whether, you know, I don't think there is a better, but we have seven, eight colors, four colors, and then dear daughter might do one also when we're all finished with the kiddos. So keep watching. Okay, we've been pouring, pouring for a couple minutes. This is looking really fun. You are doing a gorgeous job here. I love your colors. Pouring, pouring. Yeah. Looking really fun. Can't wait to see this on the canvas. Very cool, very cool. Easy project, something that you absolutely cannot mess up. My kind of project, love it. There's two examples. This one, uh, the glue water mixture was pretty thin. So we've decided to maybe this was thicker. The thicker is going to uh, produce maybe more cells and a better color combinations. But now we are trying to do where we don't put too many colors on top of each other more than once. And then we're gonna see how that works. Our second time around here, looking good, looking pretty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't do that. We are letting the paint run down onto the canvas. This one is without the WD-40, so we're going to see how that turns out. Cool. Looking cool. Looking good. I like it. it looks like outer space. Do you like it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Very fun, and the colors are so pretty. Did you put your WD-40 in there too? Um, I think I may have missed it this time, <laughs> but it looks good. Okay, one, two, three. It's kind of nerve wracking. <laughs> I like the way the cup looks. Okay, tell me, I should, like I should maybe just count to three now and pick it up. What do you think, guys? Yeah. I don't know, just an experiment, right? Yeah, do one, two, three. 
Whoa. And I'm going to do a little bit like this here. How about that? Yeah. I don't know if that's going to do anything. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so now that's a pretty cup. We got the cup going on. Let's see. It's pretty thick, though. That's uh, good. I don't know. I still want it to be more spidery looking. Like it, it just feels too globby. But this is all about, oh, now the blue coming down there, I guess that's pretty cool. Yeah. So, I don't know. Practice makes better. I never like to say practice makes perfect because you don't have to be perfect. You just have to be willing to try, right? Mm -hmm. All right. That'll about do it. Perfecting our skills here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm digging it. This has been so much fun. We're gonna do a couple more and then we'll be done. So I had some helpers to do a quick cleanup. And I'll show you some of our finished products. This is round one. Some of our masterpieces. This one actually was the first one that one of the sweet peas did. And we embellished it. She actually took paint, as you can see, and swirled it, and then did uh, droplets from the cups and using the little popsicle stick, just put little drops on there. And I think this looks like a field of flowers. And I, I'm serious, I absolutely love this now because the poor painting was just basically the um, olive green background. And then I think the this one here and this one right here have the best cells. So they were just poured by another grand sweet pea. I think I, he did an awesome job. And then this one was pretty much an awesome pour paint by itself and then embellished a little bit. Grand sweet pea embellished. And I think I, they just really have a talent for, for uh, art and for visually seeing how things look and I love it then I did this one not real happy about it I mean it's okay but I embellished it with uh, some some pink and I put the blue along the side here with one of the popsicle sticks and then my grand sweet pea helped me with doing some yellow dots so I think it looks um, brighter and more fun now too and then my daughter did this one and then embellished it with the pink and the peach and the turquoise because it was too dark. So and over here is the last one, which I think this is really awesome with some more embellishment. We're trying to think of names for these, but so far I just came up with Field of Flowers. I think this is really awesome. And it's funny because that was the first one and the one that we didn't really care for, but after we embellished it, I think it looks really awesome. We are gonna do a round two, maybe a couple more. Uh, daughter went to the store to get some actual Elmer's glue. Because we I've been using this cheap glue. And we have no idea whether the glue is affecting how the pour goes or not. But we're gonna go for a round two. This has been a great experiment. And more than that, it's been a whole lot of fun went out and got some Elmer's glue and I think we've nailed it. Good job, Grand Sweet Pea. Thanks. Wow. And we might name this what you're going to maybe call this galaxy. Yeah. <gasps> That's awesome. Yeah, he's going to keep going with it. This is a 12 by 12. All right. Round two. Looking good. Looking good. That is beautiful. All the cells, which is the round dots. I'm so happy with it. Yep. All the warm colors together. Very nice. Pour, pour, pour. And then swirl it around however you like. They say you can take straws and blow, and that'll help to get more cells. 
or you can just use your. Doesn't really work though. And you, or you yeah. can just blow it too. Very pretty. Very pretty. So we got round two here. This was the box that we used. How pretty is that? Yeah. And then all the different paints. It was fun to just sit here and do a second round. And these are the last three that we just did. This is one grand sweet pea, and this is another grand sweet pea. And he's calling this galaxy. And then this was the one that I tried a second time around. So all in all, we're happy. It turned out pretty well. I'll show them to you after they're all dry. Ta-da! An afternoon of four painting. And this is our finished pieces. This was so much fun. We did this together and uh, probably in three or four hours, just messing around and trying different techniques. And I would like you to check these out. And if you'd like, put in the comments your favorite one. I know I have several favorites. We, named, we sat down and we named them all. And uh, so from, I'm gonna give you a number on them and the name. First of all, we have LG Alligator. And then second is Secret Hearts. This is one where we added additional paint after the pouring to embellish it a little bit further. We have a couple of them like that, including this one. We started out with basically green and then we added more paint to do a field of flowers. Number three. Number four is Swirly Swamp. Cool. And number five, Falling Leaves. This one we added additional paint to also after the pour to make the leaves. How cool is that? I really like this one, especially because of the name, Joyful Journey. Never know where the journey's gonna lead. This is so fun. And this is the next day. It, it took over a day for these all to dry, so we're into second day on these. Glowing Galaxy. Yay. Dear daughter did this one. My granddaughter did this one. And my grandson did this one, and then we, we all did two or three. And then lastly, we've got three that were done in the second round. And this is where we actually used Elmer's glue instead of the um, thinner glue that I had talked to you about before. Streams of lava. Very fun. This is number eight. I guess Glowing Galaxy was number seven. And then Deep Sea Dive, number nine. I did this one, not one of my favorites, <laughs> but practice makes better. And then lastly, granddaughter, Sunrise Sensation, number 10. So if you all would vote for your favorite one, either by number or by name, would appreciate it. I know I have several favorites and this was really, really a fun project to do with any age kids. So we have five things that we came up with that we learned from our pour painting experience. Number one, Elmer's glue is best. The cheap glue was too runny and our colors blended together. And of course I have notes, so I'm turning my head here. Um, number two, we did not experiment with actual pour paint that you can purchase already pre-mixed. We learned from a video, you can save your money and use cheap acrylic paints ones that I think they're like 99 cents. Number three, if you want to cover an entire canvas, make sure you use enough paint of the water and glue mixture in about a third of the cup total. Number four, we had better results with using either warm colors or cool colors. If you use a combination, the result could be a muddy doll outcome. Number five, pour most of the paint mixture out of each cup and finish up your mixture with any remaining paint in your cups. It was a lot of fun. I again stress that practice makes better. 
that it took us a while. Our first ones didn't turn out quite like we wanted them to as far as pour painting goes, but as we kept with it throughout the day, we just had more fun experimenting with different techniques. So with that, guys, that'll about do her in your day and joy in your art projects.